I just want to see more of my man Lego Shi, okay? In this episode, I just hope to see more of Lego Shi and Haru. I do like Louis, like he's a really interesting character. But still, I just want more from my man Legoshi. I mean, am I the only one who finds him attractive? Like, even though he's a wolf, I think he's really hot. <laughs> so I just want to see more interaction between him and Haru. And in the previous episode, we already saw that Legoshi is still not really sure about what he's feeling towards Haru. He's definitely attracted to her, but he's not really, like, sure about his own feelings yet. He did realize, though, that he just wants to see Haru and thinking about her makes him happy. So that's already a really good sign and I'm just really excited to see more from him. So yeah, today I'll be reacting to episode 4 of Beastars. Yeah, I discovered that this show is a lot more mature than I thought it would be. It has a lot of young adult, adult themes to it. So yeah, that was something I was really surprised by but really pleasantly surprised. So yeah, you really cannot wait to watch this episode. I have no idea what to expect. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So let's go. All right, I'm ready. So I'm gonna start the episode in three, two, one. I'm still surprised by this opening. This these visuals are just so unique. And did you realize at that scene just now they're actually standing on top of what I believe the head of Louis? I still don't really know what the meaning behind that is though. So we have these shadows of trees, but at the same time you can also see it as the the antlers of um of Louis. Oh, this is such a feel-good song. I love it. Let the Holy Grail soak. Okay, interesting title. <laughs> well, yeah, he's hiding his injury, so... Oh. Oh, yeah, like he fainted right after the performance. And we have the whole drama club. That's the first thing he's worried about. Because for him, there's a lot on the line, but... Yeah, well, he's just stating the facts. Mm. Yeah, this is definitely not what he wanted. This is exactly the opposite of what he wanted.
Oh, wow. Uh, yeah. It is really different though, like it has a really different feel to it when he's playing the role. Oh wait, wait, is Lego she playing? Okay. And that's Lego She's role right now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Who looks unoccupied? <laughs> Oh, really? He's been in a drama club for four years? Without even being on stage even once? <laughs> oh, well, like, their people need it um, backstage as well, so it kind of makes sense, but still. Okay. Ooh. Yeah, this is definitely gonna cause changes uh, within um, Lego Shi. Ooh, this is gonna be really interesting. Because now, um, Lego is really forced to bring out his strength, and especially with the tiger as his partner. I don't even know the name of the tiger, but still. Um, yeah, because they're both carnivores, they already have that natural strength, and... Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think the tiger is really gonna bring out Legoshi's inner beast, or his wild side, as they called it. Oh, Bill is the name of the tiger, okay. <laughs> oh my man my man yeah he's fine with supporting other people and just doing what he can it's just he's not really a fan of being in the spotlight
Well, yeah, Lou is not gonna perform though. What is he gonna do though? Is he really gonna sit out the whole performance? No, he's really gonna sit out this time, I think. Ooh, that's so serious. Bill's a good guy. I like Bill so far. Oh, but shit, I just had a thought. <gasps> oh no, wait, okay, I'm gonna talk about this after the episode. Oh no, I no, I have this like thought in my mind and I cannot get it out anymore, so Yeah. Lego is sensing something. Uh oh. Is this the time to be confronting each other? Oh. <gasps> uh oh. Stay calm, Legoshi. This is not the time. Mm hmm. But what, what is that blood for though? This just, oh, okay, this, this is something they use as doping. Interesting. I mean, we saw what it did to Legoshi just having, like, just smelling it did already something to Legoshi, so I, Okay. Legoshi finally found his resolve. So, okay, we're going to the performance, and I'm really curious to see how it's gonna go.
Oh no. Now he's suffering from the pressure. Now he's really experiencing how it feels to be on stage and being at the center of attention. Well, he at least finished it, even though the feel was different. Here he is! <gasps> it's so hot! Oh, oh no, he's fighting for real! <gasps> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh, y yeah. I mean, yeah. All the people who are bored are paying attention again. Let us see. Calm down, calm down. Yeah, yeah, no, no, no. This is it's uh huh. That's enough. Right on the mark, even though he didn't kill her. Oh, shit. Sign of brotherhood.
<laughs> oh my god. And now it's Spencer screaming right away. Well, oh, oh, so the blood rolled towards Louis, then it's all right, I think it would be worse if it went to someone who is um like a teacher or something. Well, Louis is really good at handling the situation though, it almost went out of control, but... Like, everyone is still thinking that this is part of the play, I think. Yeah. Well, Louis is impressive though, like his acting skills are really on a whole different level than of Bill or Legoshi. I mean, Legoshi wasn't even acting, <laughs> he really fought against Bill <laughs> and tried to stop him. Do we see this ending? Have we seen this one before? Why does it feel like this is the first time I'm seeing this ep ending? Huh? I feel like I've it's the first time I'm seeing this ending. Hmm. Interesting. All right. So yeah, that was episode four of B Stars. We uh, continue with the second day of the uh, performance, and yeah, Louis like accepted that he couldn't perform. You know, he took the doctor's advice and just stayed out of the performance. He gave Bill his role. And Legoshi was the one who took over Bill's role and went all well, but then just right before the performance, Legoshi sensed something um, was up with Bill and then Bill showed him the rabbit blood he was carrying. And in this show, they use rabbit's blood more as a kind of doping, like he explained. You know, we already saw what just a, like a sniff of the blood did with Legoshi and his state of mind. It brought up his wild side right away. So drinking it must really bring it to a whole different level, I suppose. So in that sense, I kind of understand why that can be used as doping. But even then, Legoshi didn't find it right to use rabbit's blood as doping. That Because that means that they must have hurt a rabbit in order to obtain it. And... You know, since he was thinking about Haru, because she's also a rabbit, he really wanted to stop Bill or kind of punish him from doing it. But at the same time, it also was kind of to let out his frustrations, you know. He still had kept all that 
feelings inside him, the, the feeling of guilt or from hurting Haru. I mean, like, I think he still felt bad or he was still mad at himself for wanting to eat Haru. He's really struggling and suffering because of the his carnivore's blood. And that's why he doesn't understand Bill, where he's coming from. In that sense, they're just total opposites. Bill's really proud of his carnivore's blood and even though they're carrying the same blood, Legoshi feels the opposite way. And that's kind of what led to the whole fight and confrontation on stage. Speaking of Bill, I have this crazy theory in my mind at the moment. And it wouldn't surprise me if it were true, but we still have to see whether it is true. But at the moment I'm thinking that Bill is the one who is responsible for uh, killing Tam. At the, in the first episode, you know, in the beginning, he got attacked by a carnivore. We only saw the silhouette of the one who attacked him. And now that I think back, it really kind of resembles the silhouette of Bill. And that's why I think it was Bill who attacked them. I kind of got that idea when he touched uh, Louis on the shoulder, you know. He had that really, like, suspicious pet on the shoulder. You know, it wasn't just a friendly pet on the shoulder. It felt like a pet on the shoulder with an ulterior motive behind it. So, at the moment, I am actually suspecting Bill of being the culprit behind Tem's, uh, yeah, death. And I don't want you guys to spoil anything. Don't mention in the comments who it actually was. Don't say whether I was right or not. That's just what I am thinking at the moment. But please don't spoil in the comments yet who it actually was. But then back to the play. So Legoshi was kind of letting out his whole... Like all these frustrations, all these feelings that he kept inside. It wasn't only in order to stop Bill or punishing him. It was also... Um, towards himself, kind of to justify his own actions. But then Louis stepped in. I am really seeing Louis in a better light right now. I know where he's coming from and I didn't really like him in the beginning. He, has, he had that really arrogant attitude. But it's just because he's carrying a lot of weight on his shoulders and he has a lot on the line. But he's really supportive of Legacy. I think there's kind of this uh, mutual respect growing between them. And that's really nice to see. So the way Louis stepped in and kind of saved the whole show, the whole performance. And at the same time, he also kind of saved Louis, you know, and supported him. I think the small bottle of rabbit blood that Bill's carrying, we saw it roll somewhere. And I think it rolled to Louis's feet, I think. That would be the best scenario. It would be really bad for Bill it rolled, if it rolled towards one of the teachers, for example. Or one of the students, then world would go out that he was carrying something like that. And, and that would be really bad for Bill. That could make him expelled, I think, even. But yeah, we only saw until the end of the performance. And I think in the next episode, we'll get to see the continuation from that. So yeah, overall, really intense episode. A really exciting one. We finally got to see a different side of Legoshi. We finally saw him really letting out his emotions for the first time, I think. So I was really glad and happy to see that. It may sound weird to see like uh, his wild side. But, you know, just uh, a different side from Legoshi. Like a different... Like, different from his usual calm, unbothered side. You know, this is uh, this was definitely a new Legoshi we saw in this episode. We still didn't get to see a Legoshi Haru interaction in this episode yet. But this time, I'm less bothered by it. I Just because we saw a new side of Legoshi, I'm fine with not having another interaction between Legoshi and Haru. But I just hope we can see that soon enough. Maybe after this whole performance and everything, maybe... Haru will show up again, but she's still playing a really big and important role inside Legoshi's mind. So in that sense, she's still really involved. So yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this episode and I'm really excited to see what's gonna happen next. So I cannot wait to watch the next episode. So that was my reaction. I hope you enjoyed it. So if you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you can see my other reaction videos, feel free to check out my channel. So thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.